This is Romford School. Five students, four students. And this is an introduction to Year 7. Hi, today we're going to be taking you through a day in Warmford to show you a little bit what it's like. Luckily I live quite close to the school so I can walk. I expect you're feeling a little bit nervous or worried but there's no need to. I love secondary school, you should be really excited. It's way better than primary school. Thank you, how are you? I'm good. So Sadie, what's it like getting the bus? It's great. I can hang out with friends, listen to music and catch up on the gossip. That sounds really fun, but how do I know what bus to get? Well, all the information's on the website. I'm sure I'd get lost. Well, you get a sent a form with all the stops on the route, so you know where you're going. Awesome. So, we finally made it to school. And now we need to go to our muster point. And you're coming with us this way. <laughs> This is my tutor room. This is where we get registered before our lessons in the morning. Come on in. Good morning, Miss Alvin. Good morning, Josh. Tutor room is a 20 minute period before our lessons start with our teacher and our friends before school. So tutor is important due to like assemblies. We have like uh, tutor assemblies and we also do silent reading which is every Monday. Wednesdays we do skills builder which we're doing right now. Um, only some of which we can know. And complex problems are very difficult to solve. And so it's really important for me to build relationships and get to know them. And I'm the first port, port of call if there's any problems, whether it be practical problems or whether it be anything they want to talk about. I'm off to my first The difference from primary school to secondary school is we move around the school all the time. This is my English lesson with Mrs. Alley. This is my first lesson with Mr. Barton's about to start. It's going to kill that tone, so we want to try and find another way of expressing that, another way of saying it. So if there's something slightly incongruous in your drawing or in your piece of writing, something that doesn't quite fit with it, you need to try and find a different way to describe it. Okay? Another big difference from primary school to secondary school is that we have a different timetable each day. Another big difference is that we eat lunch outside and not in our classrooms. For lunch, you can bring a packed lunch or you can come to the canteen. This is where we're going to get our food and drink. It's pretty cool because so you don't have to use money. <laughs> Wow, Year 7 really flew by. Do you guys remember the worries you had at the start of the year? Yeah, I used to worry about getting lost around the school, but really it was really easy because all the teachers told you where to go. I was worried about making friends, but actually I made loads. I was also worried about homework, but then we were introduced to this app called Class Charts. It told us our timetable, our merits, and where, who our homework was set by, when it was due in, and what we needed to do. <laughs> Sorry. It's also great to see teachers who love learning about their own subject and teaching them so passionately. Do you guys have a favourite teacher? My favourite teacher is Mr Barton. He teaches English and he's really nice. What's your favourite subject? My favourite subject is PE because I love doing sports outside and in school. Me too, it's really fun and I love just doing PE. Have you kept in touch with your friends from primary school? I have actually. Even though at the start of the year, I thought, because they're in a different house and they were in a different form, I thought, oh, I wouldn't see them around school and I'd start to lose touch. But now that we're all hanging out at break time together, and I'm even in some of their lessons with them, so it's actually quite cool. How do you guys find your way around school? I go around with lots of people in my teaching group, and because we're all going to the same place, it's fine. Because if one person knows where they're going, it's fine, because everyone else can follow him, them. So, that's okay. 
Do you guys bring in the pack lunch or go to the canteen? I go to the canteen and I use my catering card which is topped up weekly by my parents. Do you ever get worried about the old do you ever get worried about the older students? At first, yeah, but then when we came, we had our own area, so we never had to worry about sharing our social times with them. So in the end it was okay. Don't get too worried about being lost around the school. There's always someone to help. The school isn't very big anyway. I used to be so worried about doing my homework on time because I thought that I was going to get detentions and, you know, yeah. like really badly punished. But also, if you have a good reason that you haven't done it, you're not going to get that. Teachers are so chill with it. Literally, as long as you put in the effort or you're like, I've done it, I've left it at home, and like, they're calm about it. You think that they're just going to scream at you. But do your homework. Because they're nice. They're really nice. Do they're your homework like, oh, the night scary. you get it, though. The yeah. night you get it is the best tip. Get, and then it do it, build up. And then get in the habit of doing it the night. The, like that night that you've got it and then yeah. put it in your bag, pack your bag and then you're just sorted. I remember in year seven I thought I had to do everything. Teachers give you anything you need. Yeah, if you need a list of topics or yeah. if you need even if, practice even if questions. You, even if they haven't given it to you, you ask them and it's there. Like yeah. they have everything planned out, like it's in the lesson plan, they all have it. And also where the teachers are so much more passionate about the subject because that's yeah, what they've trained specific. to do they're like yeah i can do that for you and if you're confused about something in english you can have a discussion with your teacher yeah. and they'll get really into it and it really just helps you and you can like bond with them because it's like oh if you're into history your history teacher you can have the best like talks about it yeah and like at any time as well like like in lesson maybe not always but a lot of the time in lesson it will just go into a discussion and i yeah. find that happens so much more because everyone has something to say now like yeah. everyone that always has some sort of point to give and it's so cool just listening to everyone's kind of like views about yeah, like, like anything opinions yeah people are gonna just put your hand up and participate in the yeah. class because it'll make it so much more comfortable and you'll feel a bit more yourself yeah you don't have to just like sit there in silence the back of class like, yeah kind of like oh no or if you don't understand ask because someone else is definitely also struggling someone yeah someone's other also struggling and someone always knows someone will yeah. always know something walking around school dude walking around i was so scared because i was like so little as well yeah we were so little and it's like there were so many like, people and i was like what 16 it goes up to you isn't it yeah so it's like you're like looking up at everyone you're 11. and i was like oh no and like i was so scared i get lost so scared yeah i'd be like walking around i'm like but i don't know where that class is it's just ask someone ask a teacher ask a yeah. student or just if your friend knows yeah ask your friends yeah even if you know where you're going someone will still be like hey do you need help because they'll know you're year seven they yeah. will just know and they'll be like hey do you need any help people are so happy to help you because they want to be late to class <laughs> so, <laughs> they're like oh miss helping year sevens that's, that's why i'm late so they'll never be like no i'm not gonna help you do your homework the night you get it someone's always there to help you you will make friends if you just talk about your th things that you're passionate about you will make some friends your tutor is literally always there to talk whenever you need anything, preparation for class, everything. Make sure you always have your GWB because if you do accidentally forget your exercise book, you can just use that and then stick it in later. That's five, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Libby. Why don't you come with me to my next lesson, which is in the sports hall? And this is our sports hall. At Walford, we play lots of sports, like rugby, and football, and cricket, and hockey, and tennis, and badminton, softball, netball, and volleyball, and basketball. Okay, what do you have in your bag? I think that some essentials that you need are definitely some spare masks because of the current situation and hand sanitizer. A water bottle, refillable is good um, because you don't want to dispose of one because that's bad for the planet. A reading book because you have reading in full. And if you're not going to buy lunch, then a lunch box. So what do you have in your bag? Oh, I have my pencil case, which is super important for all my lessons. Um, 
And the kind of basics of what you need is just like a bunch of like pens, colorful pens. Anything green pen. Like note taking. Always yes. remember your green pen for marking. You always need it. It's just, and then like, there's like the math stuff, which is like protractor, ruler, scissors. Compass. Compass, sharpener, everything. Yeah. Sticky notes are always handy as well to like mark places and like your revision notes. And then a calculator because- The Casio ones are good because sometimes the other ones don't have the specific buttons. And they come in pink, so. <laughs> pink and good. then highlighters again, notes, need them. Coloring pencils for art. And then just- I've got- like, An array of black yeah. pens. Black you pens. Just always, you always need pens. Also people always need to borrow a pen. <laughs> don't get yeah. them your nice pens because they will take them. And then glue stick because- you always if you're in French, in. French especially yeah. gives you stuff to stick in all the time. Every language lesson is just like, can you go on this worksheet? And like, it's just like, I'm always in French. Um, and then also, I like to keep it all together in a purse. Um, if you're getting the bus, uh, the public bus, then you'll want to bring change. But if you're getting yeah. school bus, then you get a bus card. Um, also, your lunch card, this one's mine to get your lunch in the cafeteria. Even if you do bring in a packed lunch, sometimes you just feel a bit extra peckish or you want to get something. Or if I ever forget someone's birthday, I buy them a waffle. Yeah. It's a great present. You're always <laughs> pleased with that. Um, I've also got spare bus money in case I can't get picked up. But I always only bring in my books that I need for the day. Otherwise my bag is too heavy. Like yeah. if I bring in like my size and my English and my math and like my art, it's just too many books. As well as like revision guides for each lesson as well. It's better oh. to just kind of get into the routine of remembering yeah. what to bring. So I was always so sad to forget it, but like you don't. You just pack it the night before. I've got like a drawer at home which just has all my books, so, all my worksheets. And, and then basket. you just like <laughs> get it all out when you need it. So remember to pack your bag the night before and bring in your refillable water bottle. If you found this video useful, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If we can't answer them, we'll find someone who can. See you soon.